Hey guys, Brian Song here with CNET.com with the official iOS 5 release from Apple. Its new core features have pretty much remained the same from our other preview videos, but there's plenty more to talk about, so we'll show you a few of the major ones and also dig a little deeper. Now, this video will not include a look at Siri, which is available only on iOS 5 for the iPhone 4S, so look for our video once that's available. But the first feature that will impact you the most is notifications. Apple takes a cue from Android here, and you'll just swipe down from the top to see them, but improves on them with their level of control. In your settings, you'll be able to set the order for notifications displayed. Also, pick the alert style for the notification to appear as a banner that will go away, the standard on-screen pop-up, or none at all. And there's a weather and stock widget included as well. Any app with notifications can be set up this way. iMessage is Apple's own version of BlackBerry Messenger, and it lets you send messages to your other friends using iOS 5 devices without using any text messages from your cell phone plan. Now you'll see a blue bubble, so you'll know you're using iMessage, and you'll also get read and delivered message confirmations. Now you can still send normal texts to non-iOS device users, but some people might be able to get rid of their costly text messaging plan with this feature. Also, iCloud integration is everywhere in iOS 5, and it allows all of your emails, contacts, calendars, and more to be synced across all your devices with iCloud enabled. Now, the syncing of media content is the slickest part. You can download a song on one device from iTunes, and it will appear on the other. Take a picture on one device, and it will show up on your photo stream, synced from the cloud in seconds on another device as well. Now, sticking with photos, the camera app has been improved. You can now get to it from your lock screen by double tapping the home button, and you can also use the volume up button to take a picture in iOS 5. There's also some basic built-in photo editing to crop, rotate, auto enhance, and remove red eye. And Twitter fans will be happy with iOS 5 and Twitter integration everywhere. Plug in your account info and you can tweet directly from your photos, maps, Safari, and more. Now, another new app is Find My Friends that is similar to Google Latitude, where you can let close family and friends know where you are if you want to. Now, one cool feature is allowing specific people to know where you are for a specific block of time that eventually expires. Also new is magazine apps with subscriptions that will now appear in your new stand app. Now, not all of them are compatible at the moment, but that will change soon. You also get reminders, and there are plenty of third-party apps out there like it, but many users will like how it's integrated into iOS, and you'll really be able to take advantage of this feature with Siri on the iPhone 4S. Now, there's still plenty of other features in iOS 5, but we wanted to give you an overview of some of the major ones. I'm Brian Tong for CNET.com, and there's your first look at iOS 5.